let's go okay first add the cylinder to the scene then for the property enter values like this radius 20 height segment 1 rotation segments 8 come to caps turn on fillet that's good for now come to asset browser search for axis drag and drop geometry axis under cylinder change the axis equal to 100 put everything inside the subdivision surface put everything inside the cloner object on the cloner object object tab change the count for x and z to 14 and change the size on x and z to 50 also change the instance mode to render instance now while cloner object is highlighted add the plane effector come to parameters change the p y to minus 190 and the plane effector come to fields panel add the linear field here for the length change it to 600 come to remapping change the contour mode to curve for the curve add the middle point here drag the end point down change the handle length and position like this to get a, a smooth bell shape that's okay for now it's a good idea to save the file i saved the file with name elusive cylinder v1.1 live now let's add an sphere here change it type to hexadrome and beyond the scene to see what we are doing add an espresso tag on this sphere espresso here drag this sphere in here into espresso editor duplicate it on this sphere come to coordinate drag and drop the pz on here on the first sphere node Drag the rotation P here on this node. Also come to object tab. Drag the radius property on this node. Now add a range mapper here. Add a math node here. On the math node, change the function to multiply. Change the second input to minus 6.28. Connect the radius as the first input for the math. Connect the math as an input upper for the range mapper. On the range mapper, input range change it to 0 to 100. Output range to degree. Connect the range mapper to rotation P for the sphere. Connect the position C as an input for the range mapper. Minimize this window. And now on the sphere, when I change the PZ value, it also rotates the ball in correct manner. Add a null. Rename it to ball. Put the sphere inside the null. Select the linear field. Rotate it this way until the Z axis of the sphere is aligned to the direction for the linear field. Now on the linear field, add a constraint tag. Select transform here. Check off rotation. Check on maintain original. And select the sphere as a target input here now on this sphere when i change the pz it also changed the position for the linear field also to be able to change the rotation of this ball on the constraint tag on the linear field add another target check off the position select the ball null here and now when i rotate the ball null it also rotate the linear field now let's animate the ball before i animate the ball i want the ball null to be rotated on our edge for about minus 30 degrees that's good. Select the sphere. Come to frame 10. Make sure the auto keyframe is turned on. Change the PZ value to minus number. This is okay for now. Add a keyframe. Come to frame 70. Increase the PZ value for the sphere until it passes the cylinders. That's good. And as you can see, the ball and the motion for the cylinders are animated correctly. There is only one other problem that the ball is touching cylinders. So select the ball null here. And for the PY, change it to 100. And now they are not intersecting. Save the file. Duplicate the cloner. And the new cloner come to effectors. Delete everything that is here. Open the cloner, also delete the subdivision surface here on the cylinder, turn on fillet here, add a plane to the scene, for the width and height of plane, change them to 1600, add the plane inside the thickened generator, on the thickened generator thickness enter 150 and for position enter minus 100, turn off the first cloner for now, add the volume builder to the scene, change its voxel size to 2, then add the cloner and the thicken on the voxel builder in this order, first add a second cloner, then add a thicken under it, now on the volume builder change the order of these two, we want the second cloner to be at the top, change the mode to subtract here and on the second cloner change the instance mode to instance open up this cloner come to geometry axis change this axis degree to something like minus 95 okay and now we have holes in the ground for saving some processing power on the volume builder turn off auto update setting that's better for now add a volume builder inside the volume measure add a volume measure inside the null add a smoothing deformer inside this null and the smoothing deformer change this iteration to 30 that's good for now save the file now turn back on the first cloner you see the result that's good now let's add a camera change this focal length to 120 add a new panel here change it to rs camera and adjust the position of the rs camera on this new panel i'm happy about this frame okay save the file for now on this new panel come here on view use it as a render view open the rs render view to see what we are doing hit on play here pause it for now let's add the dom light here change it in intensity to 0.1 come here on asset browser search for hdri drag and drop whichever you like into texture here on dom lights close it for now add an area light on the area light change the size size for it to 700 and see on the scene to see what we are doing add an alt rename it to target on the area light change the intensity to 10 change the exposure to 1 add a target tag on rs area light add the target node as a target object here now move area light to a proper position it on play on redshift that's okay for now stop the ipr open the material manager also open asset browser here search for plastic come to material drag and drop whatever you like here on the material also come to leather and drag and drop one i like here duplicate this plastic i will change the color for one of them to black and one of them to a white on the leather i will come here add a ramp connect this group node to the ramp here as an alt input connect this ramp to the color here and on the ramp 
probably change the colors to orange and yellow. I add the white to the first cloner, black to the plane, and this leather to the bolt. Hit on play, and our scene is ready. You can open the leather if you want, and push this orange very close to this yellow color. And our ball has two color now. Don't forget the link for the final project file is in the description. You can download and play around with it. And if you'd like to learn more about other MoGraph objects, especially this warning fracture, I highly recommend you to watch this video.